Hey, what is up, guys? It's Caffeinated Burger, and today I wanted to talk about something kind of touchy, but I'm going to give my opinion, and um, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. But this is really what I'm thinking about Call of Duty and Activision right now. So, um, T. Martin said in a recent video of his where he called out Activision, he explained that one of his sm Spanish friends um, got the 10th specialist, which is the Blackjack on accident and uh, he called Activision support and explained that he got it out of a supply drop and this is the supply drop problem this is absolute crap this shows how much Activision has gone over the top how they've gotten big heads and really thought they could do anything they want to manipulate the game and make us pay more just for a chance to get uh, weapons or the specialist and not even guarantee that we'll get it just just a chance just gamble for it so that's one thing like in games like CSGO where you pay not very much to buy the game and then inside the game it's pay to play or pay to win or um, even free to play games that are pay to play later on um, those you expect that and you know that you're gonna pay and you get it definitely um, the CSGO lotto is a little different where you're like kinda gambling for that but um, you do know with the DLC you are buying and getting what you're actually paying for and not just random crap that comes in stupid supply drops that you don't necessarily want um, that aren't weapons that you should be getting because you paid for them that is the problem with supply drops everybody hated advanced warfare well I can't say everybody but most people hated advanced warfare because of the supply drop problem uh, the weapon variants, say if you got the BAL Obsidian Seed or the ASM-1 Speak Easy or the HBRA-3 Insanity, these guns were way better than any of the other uh, normal guns or any other variants of the guns. And it really was pay to win and it was gambling as well, just like the Black Ops 3 situation. And Activision is digging itself deeper. Everybody thought with Black Ops 3 that it was going to be better. There was going to be no supply drops that were going to be pay to win or pay to play. Um, they thought it was going to be supply drops that were just cosmetic. Like the weapon variants, the taunts and gestures, the camos. That's all it was supposed to be. Now they've got the HG-40 in there, the RSA Interdiction, the um, M1 Garand or MX Garand and uh, the Marshall 16, the Sha MX Shadow Claw. Now, it's a little different with the melee weapons. They're kind of just reskinned knives. There's no better, nothing better about the melee weapons than there are than the knife. They all have the same stats. The Iron Gym was better there for a little bit, but they nerfed that, so now they're all the same. And that's kind of like a skin. Um, it's a little different than the weapons that actually have varying stats. So. Adding in the 10 specialists is absolute crap, and I'm at my wits end with this, because if you have 9 specialist characters in there, and you're adding another one, it should be DLC that you get with a season pass. It should not be a gamble or a chance to get it when you pay $20 every time you want to open 12 supply drops for a small chance to get uh, the specialist. It's just incredibly insane and stupid. I can't believe Activision is doing this and I really do not like Call of Duty right now for this. Now, do I hate Treyarch? No. Do I hate Sledgehammer? No. Do I hate Black Ops 3? No. I hate the fact that in Activision is being a money whore and trying to get all this money from people gambling and trying to get the guns that they want when they could just pay the season pass or the money for the map pack slash DLC so they could get it. That's kind of my rant. I'm really upset and I know a lot of other people are and I hope that they can fix this problem. Maybe not in Black Ops 3 but please I hope they fix it in the next Infinity War game or this could really hurt Call of Duty. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys understand what I'm talking about. If you agree with me or you don't agree with me, uh, tell me down in the comments below what you think about this. Uh, and uh, make sure you subscribe for more videos. It's been Caffeinated Burger, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching.